1996, the Globex Corporation suddenly and unexpectedly embiggened its presence across the world. By the end of that year, it had dominated both the tech sector and the east coast of the United States. Founded by Hank Scorpio, who had previously made headlines as the first rich guy to wear jeans with a sport coat, the Globex Corporation was noted for the extensive amenities and perks offered to its employees. In addition to the health benefits, Globex workers and their life partners were provided free dental care, generous pensions, three weeks paid vacation, and a stock plan that helped employees invest. On Fridays, the employees were served hot dogs, burgers, and German beer, while its managers were paid enough to comfortably afford Tom Landry's hat. The company maintained a casual atmosphere, exemplified by an open-door policy, encouraged by Scorpio himself. Globex headquarters included few walls, abundant greenery, and was located in Cypress Creek, upstate somewhere. A planned community built specifically for the employees of the corporation, Cypress Creek included the same variety of amenities as Globex itself. Principal among these were the extensive hammock retailers, located in the hammock complex of the larger hammock district. In preparation for Project Arcturus, the company's largest venture yet, Globex began recruiting experienced nuclear technicians. After the implementation of donut-based motivation programs advocated by one such recent hire, productivity in the nuclear division increased 2% well beyond that of the Weather Control and Bacteriological Warfare divisions. With this success, Scorpio formally declared his intentions of world domination to the United Nations, destroying the 59th Street Bridge in a demonstration of force. The British Secret Intelligence Service attempted to stop Scorpio's plan, only for their top agent to be captured and killed. The United States military next attempted to intervene, resulting in a pitched battle between Globex employees and federal soldiers in the heart of Globex's underground complex. The federal government's incursion into Cypress Creek was ultimately repulsed, and the Doomsday Weapon activated. Today, the Globex Corporation and Hank Scorpio are remembered for their violent overthrow of the United States government and its seizure of the East Coast. To one of its employees, however, they are a reminder that you can't argue with the little things because it's the little things that make up life. The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards.